Welcome to a tutorial on circuit theory and today we have here the substitution yeah that's right substitution theorem to discuss about okay so this uh, theorem over here basically um, you know provides a way to actually uh, you know uh, shorten a network or rather to replace certain circuit elements in a network okay with the help of voltage and current sources that would obviously you know give the equivalent value of the voltage or current developed in that particular branch of the network concerned okay so let's just uh, uh, show you the statement first okay so you'll have it coming up okay there you go so the statement of the substitution theorem states that um, the voltage across a branch and the current through it for a DC bilateral network. You'll already know what a bilateral network is as we've discussed in the previous uh, tutorials of circuit theory. Okay, so the voltage across a branch and the current through it for a DC bilateral network being known this particular branch can be replaced by any combination of elements that would make the same voltage and current across I mean the same voltage across and current through the chosen branch okay so in order to you know uh, make you understand a little bit more better okay so I'll just bring a picture of a network right over here just hang on there for a while okay so here we have a particular uh, electrical network okay which is of course a DC network as it's driven by a DC source and it's also bilateral okay so now um, let's say for this network if we go forward and apply the substitution theorem let's say we apply it across uh, the particular branch across this nodes X and Y okay so apply it across uh, the branch okay containing uh, R3 okay so therefore um, according to the theorem as it states that um, well the amount of current and flowing through I mean uh, the amount of current flowing through the branch XY and the voltage developed across it as well okay we need to know that okay so first uh, with the help of uh, whatever data we have over here uh, due to this uh, voltage source V1 basically we can just you know um, let's say by net network analysis we can just you know simplify the network okay and uh, well that will basically involve certain steps I'll just uh, come back to that in just a moment so here I'll just be uh, showing you how to use the substitution theorem okay and the steps over here All right. and there's step number one which states that obtain the voltage across and current through the particular branch okay so uh, let's say we had previously you know, chosen the XY branch in order to apply this uh, substitution theorem right across that of this resistor R3 okay so we need to find the voltage that is developed across uh, the nodes X and Y okay so we can just do that by conventional network analysis okay so we just uh, first assume that let's say we have a current okay so I'll just change the color over here that's better so let's say we assume that we have a current uh, I flowing through that of R1 which divides uh, the uh, node X okay and we would have another current flowing through uh, that of the uh, branch of R3 okay and uh, it'll just be uh, let, let's just you know call them uh, as let's say I1 and I2 okay that's better fine alright so that's set and now we can go uh, into further calculations as necessary okay so let's say we need to find the current I over here first in order to determine the voltage drop across the uh, nodes X and Y okay so here I would basically be obtained as let's take a look once more at the diagram okay that's right so we have R1 in series and R2 and R3 in parallel so I would basically uh, be given uh, by dividing the uh, voltage source V1 uh, with the entire uh, resistance of this network okay so we can have uh, well in series we can have you know R2 and R4 and over here R1 is in series with the entire parallel combination of this whole uh, network of resistors across uh, the uh, nodes X and Y so we'll have it as somewhat this way R1 uh, well plus alright R3 that's parallel to the series combination of 
R2 and R4. Okay, so that is exactly what we have here from this network. So uh, just keeping that in mind, this is how we obtain uh, the value of I. And now once we've obtained uh, I right over here, we can find out the voltage drop across uh, the terminals XY. So we just call it VXY over here. And that would basically be equal to, uh, well, that will basically be equal to, yeah, that's right. There's a current component of I1 entering through uh, the branch of uh, that of uh, R3. Okay, so VXY would obviously be obtained by multiplying this value of uh, current, that's I, with the uh, entire, uh, you know, equivalent resistance across this, um, you know, the terminals X and Y. Okay, so here we take I and multiply it with uh, this particular uh, resistance that occurs across the terminals X and Y. So we have here R3 parallel to R2 plus R1. Uh, sorry, there, R4. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this way we just obtain VXY. And finally, uh, if we need to, of course, you know, if we need to find out the value of I1 right over here, then we could basically obtain it as somewhat this way, just by dividing, uh, well, yeah, that's better, just by dividing VXY by R3. Okay, so that's how we obtain I1. Okay, now if you if you go forward and simplify uh, the uh, denominator uh, in order to find I, and over here if you just uh, go forward and simplify uh, this uh, resistor networks, uh, you know, um, yeah, this resistor networks uh, entire you know expression over here, you'll be getting the uh, I mean you'll you'll be getting the detailed uh, expressions for uh, the parameters v x y and i over here. And now uh, since we have already obtained and we can just basically use their values to uh, obtain uh, the uh, extended value, okay, the uh, exact value of i one over here by putting their values into this one. Okay, so now uh, with that, if we just you know go forward and try and simplify the network, okay, utilizing uh, the step two, which of course you know states that, yeah, here we have the step two. Okay, it states that this branch may uh, be substituted by an independent voltage source. Okay, well, uh, sorry there, I just forgot to add B over here. Okay, so I'll just put it down. Yeah. So now it says that uh, this uh, branch may be substituted by an independent voltage source. Now this uh, statement of you know step two is specifically you know planned out for this network. We can just you know uh, substitute this entire network over here that across uh, x y okay with the help of a voltage source alone. Okay, so now we have here uh, the voltage VXY developing and a current through it known as I1, which is of course given by VXY by R3. And now if we just put the values of VXY right over here, then we could obtain uh, its value as, you know, since VXY is I times R3 parallel to the series combination of R2 and R4. Okay, that entire thing divided by that of R3. So this is exactly the value of I1 that flows through uh, the uh, branch uh, XY uh, across, I mean through the resistance R3 over here. And now we entirely uh, would substitute this network using uh, v the value of VXY and the, of course the branch current I1 that is flowing through the branch XY of course. Okay, so that would basically uh, result in a network that would uh, look something like this. Yep, there you go. That's uh, our uh, network over here that is just being reduced with the help of the substitution theorem. So now you can see here this uh, entire uh, network that were you know connected across the terminals X and Y. Okay, from the left, I'm just talking about uh, the uh, you know the entire uh, set of elements. I mean circuit elements you know connected across these terminals X and Y uh, to its left. Okay, including the resistance R3. Okay, so if we just, you know, uh, take them together, we can just, you know, remove all of them and just uh, replace them with this single voltage source known as VXY that has a current through it uh, given by I1. Okay, as we had, uh, you know, previously shown in this network and have assumed it there, uh, you know, right away. 
So uh, having uh, shown the process of you know uh, shortening the network with uh, the substitution theorem, we just come to the end of our tutorial discussion on uh, the substitution theorem over here. So it'll just be a very uh, short goodbye for now, and hope you've enjoyed the tutorial as well. So see you in the next one, and uh, it's just a very good thanks for uh, watching this tutorial video.